Hello friends, this video on Adolescence Part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we will conclude this lesson with its last topic that is on reproductive health. So by now we got to know that as adolescence comes, that is the stage between childhood and adulthood, a lot of changes take place inside our body, in the physical appearance, also inside the reproductive system and all these changes take place due to the hormones and the hormones which are directly responsible for these changes are the sex hormones in both males and females. So now we will talk about reproductive health. What do we mean by reproductive health? Now we all know what is being healthy. What, what do we mean when we say that, okay, we should also always remain healthy. Healthy would mean, not healthy doesn't only mean disease free. It also means that we should feel healthy both physically as well as mentally. Now when we talk about reproductive health, we mean that we should be physically as well as mentally healthy in terms of anything related to reproduction. So it is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being in all respects of reproduction. Physical well-being means uh, you sh the person should not suffer from any sort of uh, infection or diseases with respect to his or her reproductive system. So that is how he can be physically healthy. Mentally healthy, the person should not have any sort of wrong information or wrong thinking about the process of reproduction. Social well-being, sometimes these issues of reproduction also creates a social pressure on an individual. So those kind of social Social influence should also not bother the well-being of a person. So a person in all respect should be healthy in terms of reproduction. That is what we discuss in reproductive health. Now some of the things which will be discussed under reproductive health are knowledge of reproductive processes and organs. What are the reproductive organs in males and females? How exactly the process of reproduction take place? So we have already discussed this. Next is care of mother and child. When a female is carrying, when a female is pregnant, enough care has to be taken of the woman as well as the child which is present inside the female's womb. That is another aspect which is discussed under reproductive health. But right now we are, since you are all in the adolescent age group where this is not really much applicable, so we will not discuss much about it. Family planning where it is also decided that unnecessarily getting involved into sexual reproduction might give birth to more number of kids. Now we also need to take care of the problem of overpopulation. So family planning is another important aspect of reproductive health. And finally knowledge on sexually transmitted diseases. A lot of diseases spread from one person to another by sexual contact. That means while having sexual intercourse, the diseases might get transmitted from one person to another. So this part is important. So as of now, for you people, this part has already been discussed and this part we will discuss in brief right now. So now before that, whenever we talk about a good health, Quite a few things become the very basic necessities to maintain a good health and one such thing is to perform yoga. Yoga involves a lot of breathing exercise and these breathing exercise helps in better circulation of blood throughout our body. As a result, all the cells of our body feels fresh, feels energetic and the overall performance of our body improves. So a physical and spiritual discipline that includes meditation and breathe control for relaxation of body and mind. So if you do a meditation of a couple of minutes every day, it not only helps you to remain physically fit, but it also gives you a lot of mental peace. Like the entire day you spend maybe uh, in playing, in studying, going to school. So the day becomes hectic. So end of the day, if you perform meditation, it helps you to increase your concentration. It also helps you to feel in peace for a couple of minutes and that helps you to revive your body. So yoga acts as a very good uh, thing to maintain good health. Next is physical exercise. Now physical exercise could be in any form. It could be in the form of walking or jogging or playing football or playing cricket, any game of your choice or it could be 
going to a gym. So there could be many ways by which you can do some physical exercise. So physical activity is extremely important to keep your body fit. Now, if you keep sitting the entire day, if you keep sleeping the entire day, your body tend to lose energy. Your systems, the systems inside your body do not work that well. So it is very important to remain physically active. Third thing is a balanced diet. Having proper food at proper time. Now, what do we mean by a proper food? In fact, what is a balanced diet? A diet which has the right balance of various nutrition. Like we have, we consume carbohydrates, proteins, fats, everything in our diet. Now, having everything in the right amount is what that makes up a balanced diet. Like some people might eat only fats because they like cheese and butter. So they just consume cheese and butter. So that will make them fall ill. Similarly, some people might like only uh, rice and chapati, so they keep on eating that. So they are just increasing their carbohydrate content, but they are getting deprived of proteins and fats. So that is not a balanced diet. So when we talk of a balanced diet, it is a diet which includes all the nutrition needed by the body to perform properly. Now body needs all types of nutrition. Body needs proteins, body needs carbohydrates, body also needs some amount of fat. So in fact it also needs minerals like calcium, phosphorus. So all types of food items should be present in your diet. For example fruits, green vegetables, whole grains, protein rich foods like fish, meat or lentils, dairy products like milk, curd because these dairy products are very rich in calcium. So you should eat a mix of different types of food so that your body gets different types of nutrients and thus can stay healthy. In fact all types of junk food like pizza and burger or french fries they should be avoided because they are they have very less nutrients value yes you can have them once in a while just because they taste good but that doesn't mean that you stop eating your proper meals and you just uh, depend on junk food because they are not actually going to add a lot of nutrition to your body so they should be avoided as much as possible thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.